Hey everyone and welcome back to another Nielsen Networking video. In this video I am going to show you how you can configure Windows Defender to automatically um, go out and check for current virus definition updates, download those updates, and install them. And we are going to have it set where it will do this once an hour. The reason for doing this, well there could be several reasons. One off the top of my head is you have you're using windows update to get your virus defi definition updates and what if there's a problem with windows update or what if there is a problem where you actually don't have windows update enabled or you have it enabled but you only do it once a week or once a month or once a year i hope not uh, but you you get the point you're you, why rely on windows update so what we're going to do uh, in this video is we're actually going to do it via a task we're going to set that task up right now. And to do it, we're going to start. We're going to go ahead and go to the task scheduler. OK, and when we're in the task scheduler, we're going to start by right clicking up here in the upper left corner on task scheduler local. Create basic task. Name this whatever you want. Click Next. You're going to want to leave this on daily for now. We will change that later, but for now, leave it on daily. Leave, the, leave this on reoccur once a day. And then we're going to want to start a program. And you're going to browse to this program right here, mpcmdrun.exe, located in the uh, C Program Files Windows Defender folder. You're going to go ahead and hit uh, OK there. You're going to need a hyphen here. And you're going to type in signature update. update. Um, and I'm not sure if it's case sensitive, but when I looked this up, when I figured out how to do this, it actually was capitalized. So we'll just go ahead and capitalize it. Um, and then you're good there. And then you wanna make sure you check this box here so it opens up the properties when we're done because there's a few more settings we have to set up. So go ahead and hit finish. First thing while we're here, we're gonna go to the triggers tab. You can hit edit. And you're gonna come down here and we're gonna say repeat task every one hour. You could drop this down and do it 30 minutes, 15, five even, um, but I'm just going to leave mine for an hour. Um, and you want to do this indefinitely. Um, so what that will do is it will make, once the initial task run, it's going to repeat every one hour. So you'll uh, be going out and checking for updates once every hour. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And then the second important thing we need to do is go back to the general tab, check this box right here that says run whether the user is logged in or not. And then the last thing, we're going to want to change this to Windows 10 or whatever OS you're using. So then you would hit OK. It's going to ask us for our password. We're going to enter our password. And then we're going to be good there. And then what we want to do is we want to go down here. And we want to find it, which is right here. And we could see that it has not been run yet. So we're going to want to test it. So we're going to right click on it and do run. We'll give it a little bit here to run, and then we'll check and see if it ran successfully. And let's go ahead and refresh. Maybe it's just taking its time. And it says completed successfully. And we should be able to see in history, if we check it out, that it ran and it was successful. So. That is all you need to do. It will then be set to now run every hour on the hour. Um, check for updates, and if there are updates, it will download them. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would greatly appreciate you smashing that like button. Uh, ring that bell if you want to get future notifications. Subscribe um, as well. And you guys all have a great day. Thank you very much.